I am not promoting drinking this drink to fight edema. It's I, again, in this week's video, I'm going to be trying a detox cleanse. All over Instagram, I've been seeing this green juice drink, whatever, that is supposed to cure you of all your edema and make you lose five pounds in a week. So naturally, I wanted to try it. Only to debunk it. The drink that I'm talking about is just a handful of parsley, a couple drops of lemon juice and water. Very simple. And the only reason I'm doing this is because they are just whole foods that generally don't have terrible effects on you. So, worst case scenario, I'm just getting a bunch of vitamins. So, it's safe, guys. So for seven days, I'll be doing this cleanse and we'll be talking about some things throughout. So let's go. morning. First thing in the morning, I'm going to be drinking this. It's wonderful. Probably tastes incredible. Cheers. It was really chunky because I don't have a good smoothie shaker thingy. If you do, this probably just kind of tastes like water, so. I shall suffer for all of us. Hi from day two. I probably sound like not good because I feel a little sick, which is, you know, great that I'm doing this challenge because this has lots of vitamin C in it. Let's hope it actually helps with something because I am doubtful that it's going to help me lose weight. Sorry if the lighting is terrible, I just want to do an outside shot because you can kind of see the entire city from here and it's really cool. Anyway, so I have a huge massive headache so I thought to myself, what fixes everything? And the answer was clearly oats. So I made myself some baked oats and I'm going to be sitting here explaining to you whether or not this detox that I'm doing could actually scientifically work while I eat my oats. So basically I spent several hours last night researching the compounds in parsley and whether or not there's any scientific data showing that they can help you with fat loss. So much good peanut butter stuff going on, I love it. I will link the studies that I found down below so you can check them out for yourself. Don't take my word for it if you don't want to, but here's what they found. This one was found to be anti edipogenic which means it prevents the formation of new fat cells. And luteolin was found to ameliorate diet-induced obesity. Okay, so there are some things to keep in mind. First, I couldn't find a large body of evidence, a large body of studies. From what I can tell, all the studies published on these two substances were from similar or the exact same institute, so that kind of makes me question its reliability. Might be true, might not be true. I'm not 100% sold. Secondly, and more importantly, these studies were done on mice, and even though mice and humans are both mammalian species, we're different, just because something was proven on mice does not mean it automatically applies to humans as well. So there were no human trials, we don't know. However, there are more better, well-proven effects to these substances, these chemicals. They are anti-inflammatory, that is somewhat better proven, so it could help you lose water weight. It just isn't very clear whether or not it could help you lose fat. My conclusion from everything that I read 
that it doesn't, but you do your research. You don't have to believe me. Even if these chemicals help you lose weight, the only actual proven way to achieve weight loss is being in a caloric deficit. And unless you're in a caloric deficit, there is no known chemical right now that would make you lose weight. Like these could help but not be the main driving force of your weight loss. Don't believe anyone that says this one specific chemical, one specific superfood, one specific whatever is the key to weight loss because that's just fake news as of right now where we are in science. Those oats legit cured my headache for like 15 minutes, it's coming back, <laughs> but it worked. So the specific detox, detox that I'm doing is actually harmless because I know the ingredients in it and I know they are just nutritious food and not some weird chemical so that's good but there are many detox juices or fat loss teas being sold online which you don't know the ingredients of you don't know what chemicals are in it you don't know if you're allergic to the chemicals or if the chemicals inside are actually harmful to human beings me doing this video is in no way me promoting this kind of stuff being sold or you using it because I promise you long term they don't work. At best it's a waste of your money, at worst it could actually harm you and damage your organs and stuff. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like that's not something you would want. The working mechanism of this stuff is usually either A dehydrating you or B making you poop your pants empty all of your intestines so when you step on that scale the next morning you are lighter but you haven't lost any weight actually by making the scale drop through this sort of action is making you achieve literally nothing because a you will gain all of the weight back as soon as it left you it is going to come back it's going to take a day or two and you will be on ground zero and b your victory shouldn't be surrounded around what the scale says, it should be around how you feel and if you want a somewhat healthier life, your body fat percentage. So these detoxes, they can't get you that. If you are someone who tries these detoxes and puts all their entire faith and belief in their weight loss in these products, I mean, saying please stop probably isn't going to change anything, but please try to look into the science of things and you will see no product being sold to you is actually going to achieve what it says it will. Just as hard as it is, you just have to stick with the long-term lifestyle changes and you will see results. It might not be the rapid results that you want, but you will see results. That got deep right there, but you know, I just want everyone to be healthy and live to their fullest and just be happy with what they have because you can't really change all of the circumstances that you're in. You can only make little adaptations to it. You gotta learn to accept and love that. And the best part is that those results that come through hard work and putting your all to it and changing your life they're going to be long term. That went pretty easily, actually. Through the magic of editing, we are now here. I've done it and I am here with results. So in these seven days, I lost one pound, which is around half a kilo, which 
I will be damned if I let this class take credit for because I was eating in a caloric deficit. And for me, knowing what I eat in a week, half a kilo in a week is just perfect, means I followed my diet, doesn't really mean anything else. Did this cleanse actually work? Did I magically lose five pounds? No. And thank God for that because I've been going on and on and on about how I don't think this is gonna work and it didn't. Unless you have like a reason to have excess fluid on your body, which could be due to a lot of reasons, some medical important reasons as well, there's no reason why drinking an anti-inflammatory thing would lead to weight loss. One thing that I do completely with my heart believe this drink helped me with was that in the beginning of this challenge, I was feeling under the weather. I just was getting sick, not with Corona, but my body was fighting something like the flu or something. And because lemon juice and parsley is known to have lots of ascorbic acid in it, vitamin C in it, I think it helped my body bounce back quicker, which is always welcome. The thing is, I hate parsley, so I don't normally ever eat it. And this stupid challenge was a good way to include it into my life, especially when my body needed it. Don't be like me, guys. Eat your green vegetables. They are good for you. They don't necessarily equate weight loss, but they do have health benefits. The takeaway message is that don't trust the stuff you see online. Detoxes, 99.9 .9 out of the time, don't work and they're not worth your effort. They're definitely not worth your money. I really truly hope you don't take this as me promoting it because I really, 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 really don't want anyone to try this or any other detox. I just don't believe in them. They're literally, scientifically, there isn't a quick cut to weight loss. So just please don't do it. We all want to believe in shortcuts because, especially if you're struggling with your body image, if you're hating yourself every single day, it's really hard to constantly keep up with the fight and fight with your body's hormones to try to lose weight because your body will try to hold on to it. It's really hard and yeah, it doesn't work all the time, but these don't work either and they could potentially kill you, not this specific parsley lemon juice water one but there are products being sold out there that could kill you please just don't try any of these products consult your doctor first and if you really 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 want to do something for the hell of it just to see whether it works or not as i have stick to stuff with whole foods in it because anything else could be very, very damaging to your health. Just stay safe out there. Losing weight is not worth dying for. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do intend to make more science-based videos explaining why the things that people sell you don't necessarily work. So if you wanna see more of this, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button because I could really use some motivation. They do tend to take more time videos like this because you have to do research <sighs> and on the other hand there are people spewing lies doing zero research it takes zero time to make crazy claims it takes all the time in the world to debunk them which is something that i'm really angry about but we're not gonna go there now let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else you'd want me to try or talk about or any other challenges you'd like me to explain to the best of my abilities, I would love to get some inspiration from you and give you what you want. And for more fitness stuff, whether it's trying out different fitness influencers or trying these challenges, crazy stuff that people claim to be about fitness, subscribe because it is what I'm all about from now on. <laughs> I love y'all so much and I hope you don't ever fall for any of this crap. I hope you live a healthy, long, beautiful life and I hope to see you next time.